You have to not be shy and ask people, do you have room in your Shabbos table? Um, anything to be placed in yeshiva in Israel as a convert, it's very difficult, uh, mainly because the only yeshivas we would really fit into are yeshivas that are known as Baal Tshuva yeshivas. Um, not yeshivas for people who are FFB, from, from birth, right? It's there, There's a huge gulf. The problem is Baal Tshuva yeshivas are geared towards unaffiliated Jews, Jews who are not serious about religion, who are in some way, they come to Israel through, let's say, birthright. This, 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 uh, I mean, for those who don't know, who don't know what birthright is, there's this program that if you're Jewish, uh, or even if one of your parents are Jewish, you're eligible for a free trip to Israel. The cutoff line is 26, whatever. While those kids are drunk on, let's say, Ben Yehuda, which is the party street in Jerusalem, rabbis will go up to them and try to get them to attend a uh, seminary if you're a girl, yeshiva if you're a guy, and they'll and they'll even pay them to go and they'll extend their trip and everything like that. So that's what those schools are geared uh, for, those type of people. Converts are a completely different species. We may not know anything about Judaism, but we're fully sincere, right? I mean, I went to Israel with a black coat and a black hat and I didn't know anything, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so, they don't really know what to do with us. So it's not so easy to find a school to learn in. Thank God it worked out for me. Um, but again, I had to be assertive. I had to learn how to talk. You know, no one's going to give you anything for free in Judaism, at least as it exists today. I mean, I'm trying to change that. And, you know, I don't know how much one person can do, but one person can do a lot. Even when you're uh, picking a wife, I mean, be picky. That's what they want you to do. When It's funny, when you're not, they think you're not Jewish. Mm. Uh, when you're too kind, and I mean, I'm, I still behave like a Christian. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm kind and I'm benevolent and I'm, and I'm sweet. Uh, however, that's a sign that you're either a convert or a Gentile. Unfortunately, that when people are too bubbly and flowery, you know they're not Jewish for some reason. At least Ashkenazi Jews. I don't know too many Sephardim. Uh, but it's, it's a bit of a rude awakening, but it's something you have to go through to really excel in your studies. For some reason, I would say that no matter how far a messianic gets in his education, in his religious education, for some reason, he never really surpasses a, a first or second year yeshiva student. For some reason, I mean, I don't know why. And, and I have respect for guys like Michael Brown and stuff like that, but Michael Brown really has the education of maybe like a third year yeshiva student. On far, I mean, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because every she or any lecture has to start and end with Jesus or the Messiah that in some way limits you. And we even see this in the Hasidic world. When you focus too much on mysticism, the academics in some way falls by the wayside. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, be assertive um, and have chutzpah. Have a little chutzpah there. I mean, I don't know <laughs> like if I... Uh, like got you to lose your train of thought, but I'm known for, for like for hopping around around. No, no, that's good. I'm actually uh, I'm taking my very first trip to Israel this November, so very very soon. Ah, so, <laughs> so I'll uh, I'll bring. I'm some gonna of be this... there in October. I'm gonna oh, be you're, you're, okay. yeah. I mean <laughs> yeah. for Sukkot, I'm gonna be there for two weeks. Yeah.